Okay, this is part two. I have not seen part one, part three, four, whatever. Part two. This man that I met on Tinder spent the last two hours trying to sober me up, you know, so I could drive myself home. First impression, this girl looks like she lives in her car. Has a strong nomad v- vibe to her. Like, I may live in a different city tomorrow. So a guy spends two hours trying to sober her up so she could drive herself home. Man, he really, really did not, did not want to pay for an Uber. <laughs> He's like, you don't even have a house. You live in your car. Like, where am I going to send you? After the two hours, he decided to just offer me a ride home because it was clear to him that I was not sobering up. And it was already around midnight. The whole drive home, I'm sitting there just apologizing to him and thanking him for driving me home. He tells me it's not a big deal and not to worry about it, but I do owe him one. I kind of half chuckle and kind of just ignore it. And then he finally decided to drive my drunk ass home. (laughs) Can you believe men? We get back to my house, and the first thing he says is, can I come in and use your bathroom? And remember, I'm pretty drunk. And this guy just spent however long trying to sober me up, so I kind of trusted him. So I said, yeah. This does already read like a, like she wrote this down in a book. Like it, She's talking like this is like from a news report. The excuse is already coming out. It's like, and remember, I'm already pretty drunk, so nothing... I say after this is going to count. I could be drunk for three more days and anything I do during that time period isn't my fault. All right, continue, please, ma'am. I'm sitting in my kitchen waiting for him to be done in the bathroom so we can say our goodbyes. After what feels like a decent amount of time, he finally comes back out and asks if we could have one more drink before he leaves. Again, drunk, I said sure. She's too drunk. He finally takes her home. He asked to come inside to use the bathroom. She... He takes a long time in the bathroom because he's like, God, I don't want to have sex with this girl. <laughs> he just tries jerking off in the bathroom, probably. And then he's like, that didn't work. Fuck. <sighs> all right. He comes back out to see her. You know, she's still flopping all over the floor. He's like, Jesus, am I, am I going to do this? And this is where the night gets spicy. Part three will be posted. This is where the night gets spicy. I don't think it does. I don't know what happened in part three, but I don't think it's that spicy. (laughs) I think it's just more of her being drunk and be like, well, I was drunk. I was drunk, so I sucked his dick. Again, not my fault. And this guy had the gall, the gall to come in my mouth. Good evening. On the clock with the Glock. 